Hi friends, welcome to today's tutorial of the half tuck, half pike press handstand. If you are exploring different press handstand variations, this tutorial is for you. Before we get started, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to this page. And if you are still working on developing your press handstands, follow the link in my description. I have all of the drills that help me in my quests for the press. So to get started, make sure your body is nice and warmed up. Make sure that you've built a good amount of compression and core activation. And you are going to walk your hands to the top of the mat. And with the half tuck, half pike press handstand, whatever you want to call it, we are shifting the weight forward, but at the same time drawing the navel in towards the spine, protracting through the shoulder blades. You want to keep your spine as rounded as possible and engaging the glutes to lift the hips up. So feel this compressed shape at first. You want to keep your feet about half a hand's distance away from the palms. You don't want to keep your feet too far back, otherwise you're just going to lose a lot of energy shifting the weight forward, you know? This is one of the most common issues I see with people learning how to press handstand is that their feet are way too back and they have to rely on this lean forward when actually, if you think about it, the further you lean your shoulders out, the further distance you have to take to bring the shoulders back over the wrist as your hips lift up away from the earth. So really, just be comfortable in this shape. And if you want, you could begin by tucking your heel close towards this left glute. Just getting used to the shape. Keep squeezing that heel to the glutes. Inhale, puff up through the chest, puff up through the upper back. You want to imagine your body going up, not forward. That really helps in visualizing the press. On your inhale, draw the navel in. Exhale, lift up. Find your balance and then lower down with control. As soon as your legs float away from the earth, you want to keep them active and engaged. Another good way to build in this press handstand is, excuse me, as I go ahead and grab a block. Now remember when, whenever we're using ledges and elevated spaces to help us float the legs, do not lose the activation of the legs. The tendency is when we're using this kind of elevated uh, ledges is to lose the activation of the legs when the legs are really going to be crucial in our press handstand place. So get yourself situated in the position. Inhale to puff up through the upper back. Externally rotate the arms, protracting out through the shoulders. As you inhale, draw the navel in throughout the spine. Flip that right leg up. Push the ground away. Find your tuck shape. And make sure to work on your negatives. Slowing down your descent is going to help activate the muscles to bring your hips and your legs up to that shape. Excuse me as I bring this off to the side. So let's try that again, but this time with both feet planted onto the earth. Really focus on this compressed shape. It doesn't matter if you could straighten your legs or not, you could keep your legs bent here, but I want you to focus on really driving the hips up towards the sky. Take a couple of breaths here. You've got this, you're strong, you're capable. Protracting ex and externally rotating through the arms. Take an inhale. On your exhale, you're going to come onto your toes. Squeeze your belly button into the spine. Lean forward. Squeeze your glutes. Float. Find your tuck. 
keep pressing the ground away and work on lowering down, slowing down your negatives. Thanks for joining in on this practice. I know that the press handstands may feel really, really impossible to begin with, but hey, as long as you're working on the compression, as long as you trust your body to shift the hips forward, but not relying too much on leaning the shoulders too far forward. You wanna keep your feet about half a hand distance away from your hands. And the biggest, I, I wouldn't say it's a mistake, but the biggest thing I see with people learning how to press handstand is that they walk their feet too far back from the hands. And what happens is that you're relying too much on the lean forward and not enough on your back strength, not enough on your glute strength, and not a lot on your TVA, your core strength. So just keep going for it. You've got this. Enjoy every single step of the quest for the press. And it's not called a quest for no reason. Even if they do seem elusive at times, trust me, the more and more you work on this, it's going to feel a lot more easier as time goes by. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I look forward to practice with you in the future. Thank you.